hey, why am I in Africa? Why am I in Mauritania? Because two days ago, I saw some cheap tickets online to this wonderful town of Nouakchott. Sounds like you're Fleming up when you say Nouakchott. And so I said to Alinchik, let's go and make a video in Nouakchott or in Mauritania. And here we are. Salambra. This is certainly not the former Soviet Union. Taxi, garade noir de boue. Por favor, s'il vous plaît. We're lucky that we found the only Spanish speaker and in my, all of uh, Nuachot. And with my amazing Spanish, we're going to get there. Amigo, we're going to the bus station. Bon voyage. This is like no bus station I've ever seen before. Whoa. <laughs> Photograph, photograph. No, no, no. Por que no? No, no. Por que no? Bloque, bloque. But why? Bloque. One hour. After one hour. After. After. Wait, wait, wait. After one hour. I never seen anything like this. Also, the problem is I don't speak a word of French or Arabic. So we're trying to negotiate the price without even knowing what we're saying to each other. Woo! And people keep telling me to stop filming. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare journey. Wow. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Bon voyage is the one thing I understand in French. Huh? Hey. This guy keeps waving at me. People keep saying, "Huh?" Ça c'est quand même. Nous on est intelligent. Ne pas payer des gens que nous. Ça c'est quand même filmer les gens. Ça pas de filmer ici. Monsieur, 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 monsieur. Ça c'est de filmer seulement. Ça pas de filmer. This guy is saying, "Don't film me. You can't even film yourself." Wow, this is going to be a hell of a journey in this country. If you can't even film yourself, it's one thing filming other people, but when they say, "Don't film yourself," <laughs> wow. This is quite a place, Mauritania. Only 1,500 people visited it last year. I think we can see why. <laughs> Every time I film, people stop and shout at me. <laughs> Can't even film a street scene. Huh? Okay, okay, Monsieur. Okay, okay. Okay, no, okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I can't film street? No. Why not? Huh? Okay, no. Okay. Would you like to meet two of the passengers that are coming with us on the trip to Nuadubi? Here they are. They're friendly. A couple of goats tied up in sacks. Poor buckers. <laughs> Yeah. Are you excited about your trip to Nuadibu? Very excited. <laughs> No idea what's happening, but we're off to Nduabe, Nuaduabe, something like that. Where we're going to try and catch a train into the Sahara Desert. It's been a rough start. I've been attacked already in this country. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. We've been driving literally three minutes and we've already made a stop. Everyone's getting out. No idea why. Let's go. 
I'm expecting someone to attack me at any second for filming. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Are you enjoying the music? Yes. It's great. Awesome. Yes? Good. Good. We've got some wonderful Arabic music on the way, which just seems to be basically a man reciting a prayer out of tune. We've stopped in the Sahara Desert somewhere, middle of nowhere, check it out. The Sahara Desert and some sheep. Wow, what a place. Hello. Ow. 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 No hair. Show, uh, show, show, show. Show. Oh, wow. Dreadlocks. You're a Rasta. Yeah, yeah. you're a Rasta. Mauritanian Rasta. Wow. Over there, the mosque is making the noise. The noise. <laughs> the call to prayer. Wow. Allahu Akbar in the middle of the desert. Check it out. And here's a, a Russian girl. Bella Russian girl. They're not so impressed. They prefer the hand. They prefer give me a high five than they do your um, your thing. They prefer money. Where did you come from? I didn't see you before. Is this your friend? High five again? You gonna beat me again? Ow! 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 They just love beating me up. These kids. Right. Ready? Now my turn. Ah. What would you rather live in? A Bolivian village? A Belarusian village? Or a Mauritanian village. I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> Elena's put me in the bad seat in the middle. Au revoir, mon ami. Another police checkpoint on the road north. It's going to take forever, this train. take forever at this point. Are you trying to teach an Englishman how to speak English? No, you said this, will, this train will take forever. Do you want me to sell you into slavery? Yes, please. It's less torturous than being this bus. Mauritania is the last country in the world, really, that still practices slavery. Although it was outlawed 10 years ago, they still do it. I'm thinking of selling Alina to some Bedouin tribesman for a few shekels. Or just for a more comfortable seat in this bus. Oh, this is Africa. Slave. C'est bon? Okay. okay, let's eat. Bye. Manger. Let's get to the restaurant. Hopefully, there's a place to eat around here. Before I'm attacked for filming. Let's get food in our stomachs. I don't like the look of this place. It doesn't fill me with hope about the hygiene. Alina's gone to the toilet. I'm on my own looking for food. Oh my God. That restaurant I just went to is the worst restaurant I've ever seen. There's just people lying around on the floor. What a place. Man. Je m'appelle Benjamin. A tu? A tu? Nombre. Benjamin. Alex Max. Alex Max. Mohamed. Mohamed. Okay, pleased to meet you. Enchanté, Mohamed. Wow. What do you think of that restaurant you just looked inside? Would you eat something from there? I didn't look at it yet. Oh my god. But I looked at the toilet. It was I impressive. Really? Yes. Is it worth me checking out the toilet? Yes, for sure. I'm going to the toilet to check it out. I strongly heard this is a perfectly fine toilet establishment. I think Alinchik, Alinchik hasn't seen the horrors of Soviet bus station toilets, if she thinks this is bad. Oh, man, we're up into 
Mauritania. Let this one wash his hands around here. Wow. The greatest toilets in Mauritania. Oh no, I see what she means. Some of them are absolutely disgusting. I was lucky. Wow, what's happening? <laughs> You're filming, you're filming. So we're here today at a petrol station in the middle of nowhere in Mauritania. It's got the worst restaurant I've ever seen. The toilet's so-so, but um, the people are friendly and these are the friendly people. Bonjour monsieur. Salam alaikum. These are friendly Mauritanians. And over here is Alina with her new friends as well. Yes, guys. Oh, don't guys. Don't hey, can look, can look. That's it. Well, can look. Really and now he wants one. He wants one. He wants a selfie. This dude. <laughs> Hello, doll boy. Hello, sir. Hello. It's okay. Hello, doll boy. I'm okay. Everything good. Everything good. The friendliest place we found in Mauritania. Not like the capital where people were literally <laughs> threatening to kill me for filming. Wow. Hey. This is nothing like a BP petrol station back home. Bye bye. Thank you, my friend. Bye bye, Monsieur. I'm out of here. See you boys. <laughs> Bye. What show who might come and be who is Kim and Adam to Funam? It's evening time, it's about six o'clock, the sun's gone down, and this is the Sahara in the evening. Pink skies. Guys have stopped to pray. It's a Mecca. And um, I'm gonna have a little wander around for a minute. Chill out. This is, by the way, my first time in Africa. I've never been to Africa and I didn't really know what to expect. And I've got mixed feelings so far. It started off terrible this morning and I wanted to go home. But now in the evening, after meeting some cool people, I'm thinking it might be all right, this continent called Africa. It might not be too bad. Driving across Mauritania as Bob Marley comes on the radio singing Africa Unite. Doesn't get any better than that. The bright lights of Nuba Doobie. We've made it. About nine o'clock at night. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. Bye. Hey, bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Okay, a guy's invited us to his house. Wow. If we can cross the road. Woo. Careful. Wow. Hey, thank you for inviting us. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Merci beaucoup. You're very kind. The guys um, who we're staying with have um, shown me a picture of their boss that works for a foreign company basically. It's David. And David looks just like me. <laughs> Separated at birth, me and David. <laughs> meet, meet my twin, David. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's midnight here in Mauritania, in Nubadubu. The guys have been nice enough to give us our own lounge to sleep in. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're now going to hit the sack and then tomorrow try and get a train out of town, ride some boxcars into the Sahara Desert. That's the big plan. We'll see what happens. Life is unpredictable on the road in Mauritania. You never know what's going to go down. All right, guys, until the next episode, bon soiree from Mauritania. This is Sub-Saharan Africa.